Make it quick. I've had food poison all day, and I don't feel like talking to you guys. Dallas, not the result you want, but is this closer to how you'd like your team to perform? Yeah, I thought we played better. Uh, still not where we have been in uh, past series. Um, still a few guys uh, a little bit behind. Um, and some of that's coming through the guys playing through injuries. Uh, we've got some guys that are really banged up, and uh, they, we've got duct tape on them and glue and everything that we can to hold them together. So um, I think they're giving us everything. We just need them to think a little bit more. Uh, we're just making some mental mistakes. That being said, uh, I, I thought our power play was better. I thought our penalty kill got its swagger back a little bit. Um, and uh, I thought we were really starting to come until they scored that second goal. And it was a real timely goal, and it was just a, a real mental mistake by us. But uh, overall, yes, we're on the right path now. We, we played a better game. And uh, now I think our guys truly believe now that we can go back home and, and win. You find ways to do it in the past, but tonight, maybe more than any other playoff game, did you r notice that the lacking of, of bodies uh, like a Zygamanis, a Kadri, uh, when it came down to crunch time? Well, yeah. Hey, when you get behind in games, you start looking down the bench and you start looking at names. And, and uh, no disrespect to the young men that are out there battling, but uh, a line of uh, Zygamanis, Kadri, and uh, Fratton would look pretty good right now. So. But that's what the playoffs are about. Uh, this is a, it is a marathon up a steep mountain. And it is tiring, and it takes everything away from you. Your, your team gets hurt. And that's why it's a team game. The, this isn't about individuals, and you need depth. And uh, our guys have, uh, are playing hard. Um, and do we miss those guys? Absolutely. But uh, that's uh, opportunity for others. Well, definitely for the guys that are in. Um, I think we got through tonight without anybody being shut down for the next few days. So um, the next couple of days for sure, I'm, I'll probably keep most of the team off the ice. Um, we need to let these guys heal, have a mental break. Uh, and then for the guys that are home, hey, listen, it's a few more days of, uh, of healing time. Um, you know, I, I think out of that group, Zygamanis might be the, the, the first to come back. Um, I'm still not sure where, where Naz is or, uh, or Blacker either. Well, it's, listen, hockey. So I, I always find the first game of the series to be like that. Uh, the teams are going to go out and try to flex their muscles and, and, and show that uh, they're not afraid and they're going to be the instigator and, and they're going to punch first. Um, and then I think after the first th game, usually things uh, settle down. Um, you know, I felt bad for the referees uh, in, the, in game one. It was like every whistle, there was a minute long scrum. Uh, and that's a tough job for those guys. There's uh, 10 guys in a scrum and, and four referees trying to, to sort it out. Um, I thought both teams played, you know, they, they played hockey tonight. It was, it was whistle to whistle, and there was still some uh, jousting going on, but I thought the, the referees did a, a good job of handling it. And, uh, and it, it was a funner game to watch, I think, for, for, the, for the crowd tonight. Well, not a lot. Our, our game plan still stays the same. Um, what we did this morning is we had a, a number of clips of, of things that we were doing that were uncharacteristic of our team and uncharacteristic of uh, individuals. Um, we went back to the, the drawing board on our, on our power play and just simplified it. That paid off for, for one early, which was a, a good thing that gives our players confidence. And uh, but it, it, it's one of these things. You, your game plan is your game plan, and uh, I think we had a pretty good read on their team coming in. Um, we had a number number of individuals that didn't play up uh, to par, 
and tonight we had a number of guys play better. And you know, I, game one, even though we were we were close right till the end, I, I didn't think we fully deserved to to even be in it late in the game. Uh, I think Ben Scrivens had a huge part in that. And then tonight, I, I thought we could have won the game. Uh, they got some timely goals, and and that hurt us. Well, yeah, we we want more pucks, more bodies, everything to that net. That's just the way it is all the time, and and um, so that's something we'll continue to work on this week. It was amazing early in the game. I know uh, there was something going on with the net there, but the you know uh, Ben fell into it a couple of times, but then I think three or four times it was their player taking out our net, and that's when teams are coming hard. Um, it was good that they didn't take Ben out because. You know, we don't want to lose him. But that's playoff hockey. Teams are going to drive hard. They're going to look for your goalie. They're going to try to bump him, get him off his game, and especially a guy who's played as well as uh, Scriven says. Well, yeah, we, we, I thought we had a couple of good chances there. We just couldn't get it in the net. Um, it's uh, it, w it was a crazy night penalty wise. There were four on threes or a, a five on three. Uh, I, I thought our guys executed what we were looking to do. Um, and the thing that helped tonight, I think, on for for both teams power plays was uh, it seemed like the ice was much better. It was colder in the arena. It was uh, uh, the ice d didn't fall apart uh, as quick. So. Uh, I, I thought that helped uh, for the pace of the game too. Where'd you get your food from? I don't know, but it hasn't been pretty. <laughs>